What on earth? Hello? Why? Uh, this is so ugly. What the hell? Who made this? Do not enter. JK. Lol. Please do. Is there a door? No. Broke the sign. I'm sure that's not important. Hey soup, if you find this, I have a challenge. Go to Mouse Base and build a secret base in her main house base. If she finds it in less than a week, I win and you have to be emo soup for a week. A gift to begin the challenge. If you take, you start the bet. Please DM me if you find this. Mima. Oh. 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 Five diamonds. So, do I just do the same thing in Mouse's base? And if she finds it after a week, what do I get if she finds it after a week? I'll have her hide this in somebody else's base. And if she fails, she'll have to do something. I'm curious of what this sign said, because uh, I didn't know Kelsite was in insta, insta break. Oh well, well, I'm gonna break this. Sure, yeah, why, let's do this. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, so I have all the stuff. Okay, there's nobody online right now. So this is perfect. Hello. Whoa, that looks cool. Now the question is, where to hide it, where mouse wouldn't expect it, and it can remain hidden for a week? I have found the perfect hiding spot for this base. Now, of course, I'm not gonna reveal it in case somebody watches the video and spoils it, but I have completed it, it is completely hidden, because this needs to be hidden for one week, and that's a long time. So. I have done a bunch of signs as well for her to read and I will read them to you as well. Hello mouse, Mimerk has challenged me to hide this base in your base. This base was made on the 24th of September 2023. When you find it, please DM me, Soupman. Now, it's your turn. Hide this base somewhere in Ducky's base. If he finds it in less than a week, you have to watch the first episode of Jujutsu Kaisen. Mouse has never watched anime, by the way, so this will be your punishment. Good luck. If he finds it after a week, nothing happens. But if you don't participate, it will count as a fail and you will still have to watch it. <laughs> oh, I made a typo. Give me a second. <laughs> Soup. Um, so good luck, Mouse. Um, hopefully you don't find this before a week because I don't feel like wearing as an emo soup so this is a good luck to me as well hopefully I've hid it well enough now Abgi wanted to talk to me for something well he asked me if, I, if I've got a minute oh wow this place has this place has changed jeez Whew. <laughs> hi you scared me <laughs> Deep slate. Okay. Oh, like a one block high shape. It's like a pl like a plan of a building, right? Anything, and I have to use all sixty four. Whole stack. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. This is weird. I'm not gonna have enough for this. Probably gonna have to shrink it down. Still not enough, huh? Fine, I'll make it smaller. This is difficult. Using an entire stack perfectly is difficult. I can still... Oh, right. Wait, so would that be enough for this? Holy crap, I think it's just enough. I use the entire stack. Exactly the entire stack. <laughs> What does this even look like? Hold on. Because I feel like the, the circles are really large. Okay, yeah. It looks like a fidget spinner or, or a drone from up here. Nice. So what do you need this for exactly? 
I knew it. <laughs> ah, I see. Nice. Okay. Nice. Alright, nice. Good luck on your challenge. Hopefully the, it will turn out well. No problem. Thank you for, uh, for hosting. Well, that was certainly a weird start for this episode. I haven't even started recording the intro yet, but I think it's a bit too late for that. So, uh, hi! This is episode 15, and it's sun setting. Of course, it's I never pay attention to the sun. It's fine. Okay, so what I have in mind today, um, at least for the first bit, um, these two buildings are basically complete from the outside. The sheep farm, I've installed the glass and the doors as well at the bottom. As you can see, there are, I've gave it jungle doors. But at, that's basically all I've done for the sheep farm. The cow farm, I've done nothing yet. But now, I have noticed that this part is complete. But under here is a bit blank. And I've cleared out this area, so now it's a one nice complete square. So basically what I have in mind is that this place is gonna be an underground car park. Um, where there will be parking slots for the residents above to be able to park their car in. I'm gonna fill up this entire area with, with grey concrete, I've got a full shulker box of it. And the walls, I'm gonna make them with deep slate bricks, because I feel like it matches the most and keeps on with the vibe of the city from the from the harbor. Now the harbor is tiles, but the tiles are a bit too dark for this building, so I made them as bricks because they're a bit lighter and they feel more solid when it comes to this build because they're larger as well. So without further ado, we are gonna hop on to super fast time lapse mode. And by the end of it, we are going to have an awesome car park. I don't know if we're going to have any cars yet, but probably not. I'll probably do those later. But anyways, let's go! And there we have it, the underground car park is basically done, at least the basics of it is done, the structure is done, let's go with that. I could have made a ceiling up top, which wouldn't be, because like it's two different colors, because they're two different um, apartment blocks, but it's fine, I still like it either way. Um, I've used these sea lanterns to... Uh, to light up the car park because it was really dark and torches wouldn't have cut it and it would also be some like a support support beams to hold the building up top from collapsing into the car park but soon i might add a bunch of cars in here as well but actually now what i want to do next because going back to Abgi's base at the beginning of the episode um, kind of inspired me to actually fill up the interior of there because I bought it like 10 episodes ago and I still haven't done anything with it so what I have in mind is some sort of laboratory because 
you know how my skin is like there's like a part robot i it's based off of the terminator so i wanted to make that tower into some sort of laboratory or testing area where i can test out new augments or robotic parts or upgrades that could be used for my skin so i think that's what we're gonna do next so we're gonna prepare some materials i'm gonna have to look up at some inspiration ideas for laboratories because i've never made a lab uh, like a robotic laboratory before but i can imagine i'm gonna need a lot of iron as well all right so this is what we got of course there are, i hear camels outside so this is the tower there is a second floor as well which i will break into to have access to the top floor um i've got here a bunch of stuff that i can use um for this lab i've also made a couple of these banners like the binary the binary banner things because they look cool for potential like computers and stuff so i'll see what i come up with for this i won't make a time lapse because well, it's not really that big of a build so i'm kind of just gonna wing this and i'll see how this goes i guess let's see now i'm gonna i'm gonna make a ladder somewhere here that's for sure yeah see it's a whole other floor up there okay so i think upstairs will be the control panel computer room type of thing okay so now i need to block that and i'll make a computer here i put these two over here i'm actually make an observer okay so i want this guy to have copper body like so a lever here that works this is w weird to a certain extent because i don't really know what i'm doing There we go. I need uh, water. Now if this works... Uh. And annoyingly a amount of later, there we go, a water stream for, co for a cooling system. Yeah, something like that. We're gonna put in another table there. Gotta put back this lever here. So I think this floor is done now downstairs i'll make augmented parts i guess i'm gonna need like a like a table so something like that how would i make small parts that can resemble sort of robot parts mm. okay i'll get block of couple blocks of iron that will be a computer some light there I can make a hopper going down with levers on the side I can't place levers on its side well it's gonna have to be something like this to represent some sort of arms I guess I would have been cooler if I could have had the levers on the side but I guess I I can't that's upsetting or I can just make an entire like mech thing over here. What if I make some sort of copper and iron robot golem sort of thing? Okay, I make a grindstone. Let me... Oh crap, that that goes to the underside. Okay, copper and a grindstone. That would be like that. That would be like that. Trap doors will serve as wheels there we go they can place those as arms I'll break that and make that doesn't work okay that works and I need some sort of head or helmet I could make another observer and to see if it looks good I'll actually use the one up top Oh yeah, that's amazing. 
<laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I love that. Uh, uh, what else? What else? What else? Something like that as a support or like not as a support as a feed for something like from the water going down. Let me add actually one last thing. A couple of these going around. There we go. That's gonna be super annoying, but that's the point of it. <laughs> actually, I put them in the corner. Nice. I actually didn't like this design of the robot, that looks cool. <laughs> nice. Okay, so that, that's the interior of the tower. Abgi, if you're ever gonna wonder what this is, um, you don't need to know. You don't need to know, it's fine. This is, this is my laboratory. You don't need to question it. I can do whatever I want here. And it's mine now. So, I know it doesn't match with your base, but that's the whole point of it. I'm a time traveler. Yeah. Definitely. Alright, I think that this would be a perfect place to have a full-on futuristic um, laboratory sort of thing. I'm still really proud of that robot. I like I like the design. And this place is like a control panel sort of thing, especially with those. Um, I'll actually pay place a couple more there. Nice. So yeah, that's it for this place. I'd say... I'd say this looks pretty good. Nice. So that's going to be it for this episode. Actually, this one is a bit, a bit more different than than the last few episodes. It was definitely weirder, um, but a lot of stuff did happen. So yeah, well now we have the lab behind us. We had the base, the mouse's base. Uh, we made the parking lot and. I did the the shape the weird castle fidget thingy shape thing for Abby. So so yeah, it's, I guess a lot of stuff happened today. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed watching this video as much as I had making it, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.